a sister FFM registration. Step 3, Accessing the Marketplace Learning Management System. Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS. Center for Consumer Information and Insurance Oversight. Agenda. Objectives. Summary of Steps. Demonstration of Process. Additional MLMS Resources. Help Desk Support. Objectives. Learn how to access the Welcome to the MLMS page. Learn to select the appropriate assister type and complete the required and relevant fields. Summary of Steps. 1. Select the Login to CMS Secure Portal button. 2. Review and accept the terms and conditions. 3. Enter your user ID and password. 4. Select the Login button. 5. Select the MLMS button. 6. Select Training from the menu. 7. Select the appropriate assister type and then the remaining required and relevant fields. 8. Select the Save Update button. Once a CMS Enterprise Portal account is created and the assister selects the proper role, they must select the appropriate assister type to access their training courses. The Login to CMS Secure Portal button is selected. Terms and conditions are presented for review prior to entering an account. The I Accept button is selected. The User ID field is completed. The Next button is selected. The Password field is completed. The Login button is selected. The assister can be assured of their role status by the appearance of the MLMS button in the upper left of the screen. The MLMS button is selected. The training option is selected. The assister must select the proper assister type to proceed with their training. Based on that type the screen will refresh to capture the required user information. All fields with a red asterisk must be completed to continue. The assister's email address is entered in the email field. The assister type menu is selected. The appropriate assister type option is selected from the menu. The first set of common fields that must be completed identify the preferred language for the training, the amount of time the person has been an assister, and when they last completed their training. These and all other required fields must be completed as they apply to the user individually. The selection from the training language selection menu impacts the display of the MLMS and the suggestions for training curricula. For instance, if Spanish is selected, the MLMS will display in Spanish and the training options will provide Spanish language training courses. The user is prompted to log out of the MLMS and then log back in to complete the language change. Note, if the user chooses to switch their language selection after starting their training, they will be required to redo any coursework that was already completed in their first language selection. The number of years spent as an assister are selected. The last time the assister completed the federal assister training is selected. The MLMS system will recognize a user that completed their training last year and will suggest enrolling in a refresher curriculum which requires fewer courses. A user may decide to enroll in the full curriculum anyway, if they prefer. The remaining fields should be completed as best as possible. The type of information requested will vary according to the selections made in the required fields. The Save Update button is selected. The Assister's training homepage is displayed with the curriculum associated with their Assister type selection found in the Training Options section on the page. Transaction completed. This is the end of the simulation. Additional MLMS resources. Assister registration and training topics include Step 1, creating an enterprise portal account. Step 2, requesting marketplace learning management system access. Step 3, accessing the marketplace learning management system. Step 4, enrolling in and completing the appropriate assister courses. Step 5, Printing your assister curriculum and federal certificates. These materials are found on the assister training materials page 
https marketplace.cms.gov slash technical dash assistance dash resources slash training dash materials slash training dot html help desk support for help changing or resetting the cms enterprise portal password one visit the cms enterprise portal at portal.cms.gov two on the right hand side of the home page click the forgot password link under the cms secure portal pane three follow the on-screen instructions for further assistance with passwords and forgotten answers to security questions, please contact XOSC Tier 1 support at 1-855-267-1515 or cms underscore feps at cms.hhs.gov.